Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys and girls how to straighten out your UVs. Now if you don't know what that means then this tutorial is probably not for you but if you do then let me show you how to do that. So first of all I'm going to delete everything in the scene and let's create something interesting looking. Usually you'll have this problem with an like a organic type shape so i'm going to use curves bezier i'm going to go into edit mode and i'm just going to move some of these points around something like that pressing e to extrude and maybe let's just rotate yeah let's just keep it maybe something like that so we have something strange like this all right next we need the profile so i'm going to create a new circle curve and i'm going to scale this down something like that and then we're going to select this curve again go to the curve settings and just increase the resolution to around 32 that should be fine and then we're going to scroll down to geometry and click object and then i'm going to select the profile that we created the circle and then we get that shape so now what you can do is you can scale your profile to set the size and you can also go into edit mode and you can still move these points around to just kind of define the shape uh, now, anyway, let's just move on. This is um, actually a tutorial about UV editing. So I'm just going to go through this quickly. You can go to the active spline and you can increase or decrease the resolution here. So let's just keep that on 32 for now. And yeah, that should be fine. Maybe I want to scale this up a bit. So we have something like that. And maybe I just want to move this out and maybe just have a little bit of a curve there. Yeah, something like that. That should be fine. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, right, there we go. So I'm going to right click on this and go convert to mesh so that we have a nice mesh, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the UV maps because this will probably have a quite a good UV map already. But I want to just work from scratch and show you guys and goals how to achieve this if you have this problem. So. I'm going to go to UV editing um, and I'm just going to right click, select everything and I'm going to just try a normal unwrap and let's see what we get. We get something really horrible looking like this, not going to work. You can also try smart, but that's also going to give you something like this, also not great. So what we need to do is we need to add some seams to just tell Blender where we can cut this model to create a flat open uh, UV island. So I'm going to just select one of these edges, hold control or alt and just click to select that whole line and then right click and then go to mark seam. So that's going to mark that as a seam so we can actually cut through that. So I'm going to go back to face select, select everything, right click and then unwrap. All right, now we get something that looks like this, which is a lot better. But now you can see we've got the problem where the UVs on straight. So let's add a quick material. So I'm just going to add a checker texture like so and let's give it some nice and bright colors and then just do a control T to bring out the mapping node and the texture coordinate node. Let's connect that to the UV map that we are currently using and now we can just increase the scale to make our checker texture a bit better now you can see that it's not kind of flowing correctly around this object there will also be a lot of warping going on and that's because your uvs are not straightened all right so very easy to fix so this is actually where the tutorial starts so you just go to one of the um faces in the center of your UV island. Maybe let's choose this one. And we want to basically straighten out this one face. So we want to make the sides and yeah, we just want to kind of straighten it out. So go into vertex select mode by pressing one and then select these two vertices at the top. And then we're going to scale them on the Y axis. So when you working with UVs, you only have the Y and X axes because it's like a 2D plane. So there's no Z axes. So I'm going to scale these two, but in the Y, so the up and down. And as you can see, if I scale them, they will kind of level out. Now, if I press zero on the keyboard, they will automatically snap 
exactly horizontal from each other or it will form like a straight line so we can do the same with the bottom two so s y zero all right and now i want to do the same with these two on the sides um, but this time we're going to do it on the x axis so we're going to press s for scale x for x axis zero and then just click so same with these two s x zero and then just click so now we know this face is perfectly it's a perfect rectangle basically so all you have to do is you click this face first and then just move your mouse away press a to select everything and then simply right click and choose follow active quads and that's it now you can see your uv island is perfectly straight all the faces are perfect and uh, yeah now you can see that it's flowing a lot better and if you add like a texture on this this will just look a lot better and uh, that's the tutorial i hope you guys and girls enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and also you can pre-order my blender book that's coming out soon details below and please consider subscribing if you like quick tutorials like this one have a good day cheers bye